Years pass and we find ourselves stuck in a repetitive relegation of different stages of growth and failures that ultimately guide our path to a perfect ambient peace and prosperity. But what is peace without a little violence? On today's episode of Spice Most, we get the juice out of some of your favorite faces about their journey so far in their respective industry. Hi, my name is Austin. I am an artist and this is Spice Most. Hello, my name is Princess Agumbiade, the second runner-up Miss Universe Nigeria 2023. And this is Spice Most. Hi, my name is Iremi De Adi. I'm an actor and a digital creator. And this is Spice Most. How has your year been so far? How's my year? My year has been really exciting. I've had the good parts, I've had the crazy parts, I've had the, you know, pretty exciting parts. But it's been, I think it's, I would say it's a very well-rounded year. <laughs> my year so far has been interesting. So far, so good. My year has been eventful and I'm grateful for the things that I have achieved this year and I'm positive for what's to come. What project are you currently working on? Okay, so I have a few projects that I'm working on. I have a campaign that I'm doing personally and I also have um, a couple of film projects that I'm working on. Some would be released soon and some are still in the works. So many projects, but the most important one to me right now is my my initiative. It's called BBB Women, which means Beauty, Brains and the Bag. And we're just trying to show women the ways that their beauty and brains can coexist without them having to leave one for the other, like society has made them believe. So it's really important to me because I have lived this stereotype for a long time and I'm just really getting to realize that it never had to be that way, you know. So I want other women to also be aware of this. Um, the project I'm currently working on is an art series called Afro Contemporary. So it's a harmonious blend of traditional and modern society, kind of like reflecting the African pop culture. On a scale of 1 to 10, describe your journey so far. Uh, on a scale of 1 to 10, mm, I'll say it's a 10 really. Everything has worked just how God, how God has planned its work, so yeah. On a scale of 1 to 10, um, my journey so far is an 8 because I feel like I'm still growing. So yeah, 4 plus 4. If you get it, you get it. How would you describe your growth in your industry? Um, my growth in the industry is a continuous evolution. You know, starting from my earlier years, my influences and my experiences, I've been able to hone a unique art style and I've been able to face my challenges and obstacles head on. They actually foil my growth. So I think basically now I'm just looking forward to pushing the boundaries of my art career and literally just telling my story. So yeah. It's been it's a projectile motion, so it's it's going. <laughs> well yeah, I hope it continues to go up and not down. <laughs> so I'll describe it as that. But of course one that has been backed by God's grace because it takes God's grace to still stay um, relevant in an industry for almost a decade now. Um, my growth in the industry, I'd say um, it's a definition of grace, hard work and a clear display of um, opportunity meets preparation. And I'd like to say that every growth that I've attained so far in the industries that I'm actively involved in is well deserved because I put in the work and yeah, I give myself that one. The Nigerian industry, whether it be fashion, entertainment or art, is booming with new faces and new heights, irrespective of the stagnant growth we might experience. Would you say your industry is diverse and multifaceted? I would say my industry is multifaceted. It's a little bit of both because the art industry in Nigeria is a dynamic, multifaceted landscape that encompasses a wide range of artistic expression. So, and they all play their own part, both locally and internationally. So I feel like it's actually multifaceted, but a little bit of both. Because my industry celebrates women um, in all their different facets, you know, a woman in her beauty, a woman in her strength, a woman with her accomplishments, a woman in every single part of women really is celebrated. So it's definitely very diverse. And also now we have, we are accepting of women who were married before it used to be, or you have to be a certain body type to compete, but now, 
there's no there's no height or weight restrictions as there used to be before also there's no longer restrictions to oh you have to be an unmarried woman or a woman who has never birthed a child before so it's becoming more diverse we even have you know they're even accepting right now of you know um transgender and you know so it's, it's really 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 diverse right now i'd say i would definitely say that the industry is diverse and multifaceted and I'd be talking for the industries that I'm actively involved in, that's filmmaking, fashion and digital creation. Um, the diversity and multifaceted aspects are very glaring and you can see that in the mix of talents as well as culture and creative approach to how we do our narration of stories and tell or create our content. And it's this diversity that helps us um, push boundaries and create unique experiences for the audience. It's remarkably obvious that the Nigerian industry has grown in different ways. How would you describe the growth of your industry internationally? The growth of the industry has clearly sparked some controversies and inclusion in award shows internationally. Um, but first of all, I'd like to say that um, Nollywood has gotten some sort of rec um, recognition in the international space. I mean, we've been getting awards and um, the international continents or whatever and um, we've I mean recently Lion Lads from Genevieve Nanji was like the first Nollywood film to get into the international feature film category for Nigeria and that's that's amazing it just shows that yes we're doing amazing stuff we've gotten awards from Toronto Film Festival Sundance and all of that it's great and we we're doing amazing stuff but I feel like there's still like an underrepresentation of Nigerian talent or African talent in general in this international space and it calls it raises the question of um, inclusion and diversity in this award show so I think more work has to be done but it doesn't only relate with the international sectors I think it starts from home so if we take these talents and these projects how we want them to be seen internationally it would help us better in the international space. I'll describe the growth of my industry internationally by saying it's remarkable, it's still growing, it's so phenomenal to see us from a local stage to an international stage and you know it's, I feel like it's still growing like I said earlier so yeah. Internationally it's been <laughs> yeah the industry is really I think Nigeria is catching up but internationally the industry has really taken off. Nigeria being a multi-talented country, it's quite ambiguous to describe the acceptance of the industry at large. In three words, describe the acceptance of your industry's recognition in Nigeria. In three words, um, increasing, promising and evolving. In three words, the acceptance of the industry in Nigeria for Nollywood, I'd say, can be better. And that's just one word, but that's because it's the reality. Um, for some reason, the industry doesn't really have as much acceptance as it should, especially based on what it stands for in Nigeria. But I think that's, that comes from a lack of understanding of what the industry really is about, so yeah. Stereotypes and feuds create controversy, and controversy leads to growth, whether negative or positive. There is no such thing as bad PR. Would you consider feuds and stereotypes negative factors in the growth in the industry in Nigeria? Yes, I will consider it like every other industry. So, you know, feuds and stereotypes lead to a negative impact and affects the perception and representation of the artist. But I feel like, you know, for me, it should be more of encouraging, you know, a collective of you know, artists to work together through collaboration and also promote the industry as a whole. Um, feuds and stereotypes are definitely negative factors in any industry, not just even Nollywood or the fashion or digital creation industry because for feuds, um, it creates some sort of unnecessary conflict and for an industry that needs collaboration to thrive, we shouldn't be having conflicts when we should be having collaborations. And for stereotypes, stereotypes just, um, how do I put this now? Stereotypes sort of limits the industry's opportunity to see things from different perspectives by perpetrating biases that can limit the industry's um, creative prowess. 
and if we want to be able to have an inclusive industry or a creative industry that's going to thrive very well then we have to tackle these issues it's imperative that we do that creatives in nigeria go through a whole lot from electricity issues to financial problems and content restraints in your own experience as a creative talk about your challenges so far in nigeria um a word of advice would be I know a lot of people say trust the process, but it's good to be in the process and actually experience everything that's happening. So always remember that with patience, you know, dedication and consistency, you will achieve everything that you need to achieve. So in quotes, trust the process. Hi, my name is Iremide Adje, your favorite TV boyfriend. I'm an actor and a digital creator, and it's been an amazing time on Spice Most. You can check out my socials at iremideadje.f across all platforms. My name is Austin Dogu. I am a visual artist. This has been an amazing time on Spice Most. Stay locked, stay tuned. My name is Princess Agumbia, the second runner of Miss Universe Nigeria 2023, and it's been fantastic here on Spice Most. Stay safe and goodbye. Sadly, we've come to an end of this episode of Spice Most. Keep the ball rolling on our social media platforms. For Instagram, it is at Spice TV underscore Africa. And on Twitter, it is Spice TV Africa. You can also keep it locked on our 24-7 website, www.myspice.tv. Until next time, save the drama for Mama.